Hello and welcome to this week's episode of The Mandala Effect. I hope you're having a beautiful day. So today I want to talk about being here for the magic and not the mediocre. Um, like I'm here for a magical life. I have learned, um, I want to say the hard way, but actually I have always been here for a magical life ever since I remember kind of upping sticks and even moving to London um, after college and moving away. I've always been here for the experience of life and this is something I'm very, very grateful for that's part of my personality. I'm always here for the adventure. It doesn't mean I've always enjoyed the adventure, but I'm always here for it. So today is inspired by being here for the magic and not the mediocre, not the average. Like I notice so many people settling for average and settling for the average relationship, settling for the average location, settling for the average career, because that's all they believe that they can have. But if I offered you a magical life, I'm sure you would take it. If I offered you a mediocre life, I'm sure you'd be like, mm, is there any other options? But question, have a look at your life and question like where are you accepting mediocre now I'm not saying that we need to strive and be perfect I'm not saying that we need a perfect life because a perfect life our souls are here to grow our soul does not want a perfect life our soul sort of wants the mess and um wants the challenges to so that it can grow but the soul I don't believe wants mediocre. The soul might want peace, the soul might want fulfillment and contentment, but it does not want average, it does not want mediocre. Your soul wants you to go for your very best. Your soul wants you to go for the highest that you possibly can. Um, so I encourage you to have a look at your life and think about where it's mediocre and where you can allow in more magic. Um, you have desires, you have dreams, you have like, um, goals that are probably sat there on your vision board and you're doing nothing about them but know that if you have those desires if you have those like one of my friends is a beautiful singer songwriter and she's so so talented and I see her every day in some way working towards her desires and I know people who are extremely talented at things who do fuck all about it and they will always have those dreams and desires and they will always be unmet until they realize that actually it's only them that can give give them a magical life and you have to work towards that magical life so you have been given these desires, these dreams, these, I want to say wishes, but it sounds a bit flimsy, but these urges in your heart for a reason to go and chase them and cha in chasing them, you will create magic in your life. The other thing about having a magical life is actually noticing the magic that you already have in your life. So noticing that you have, um, noticing the little white feather that has just landed on my knee even though I am in this you know I'm in a room with no feather well apart from maybe in some cushions but a little white feather has just landed on my knee and yes I am waving about selenite um but noticing the butterflies that fly in past the window and seeing that as magic noticing the um the beauty of the ocean or the incredible opportunity that's just hopped into your email inbox like there is magic all around you if you're willing to look for it there is also mediocre all around you if you're willing to look at it whether you have a mediocre life or a magical life it all de depends on where you place your perspective so go after your dreams and your desires and look at where you're placing your perspective these are two huge steps in in living a magical life now, as we're kind of striving towards living a magical life, there is a wonderful tool that I have used and it's used quite widely in coaching and in personal development. I first learned of it in my Tony Robbins days and it's the wheel of life. I've sort of judged it up for my clients and um, anybody who's, who comes into my world. And I have what is called the aspects of life worksheet. It's like a mandala um, and we, there are the eight, like eight main areas of your life, uh, fun and joy, family, relationships, romance, spirituality, finance, career, um, health and wellness, like all the areas of your life that you, 
um, that are important and that um, kind of bring up, like make up your life as a whole and you mark them out of 10. And if you're say at a nine or eight, nine, 10, then you're doing really well. If you're doing a 10, I'd suggest, well, what's the next level? Um, and if you're maybe at three, four in some areas, then how can you invite in more magic? How can you improve this area of your life? And this is a really great tool for anybody who um, is on a growth journey, who wants to create a magical life, who wants to see improvement. Now, this is not about striving for perfection. I've tried it, it doesn't work, it's fucking stressful. And actually, while you're striving for perfection, what you're creating is not perfect. So if you're create, trying to create a perfect life, what you are seeing is the not perfect. Oh, I don't like this and this is what my focus is on. But if you're just kind of allowing in a bit more magic, understanding that life is a bit messy and that is perfect, because if you look at the ocean or if you look at the flowers or if you look at um, a diamond even the most valuable beautiful material on the world in the world um, subject to people's opinion <laughs> um, they aren't perfect they're flawed and in that in those flaws create perfection so if you can it, so whilst we're rating the areas of our life out of 10 we're not aiming for perfect because perfect doesn't exist and it's not meant to exist so let's release the idea of perfection and take some pressure off yourself and understand that life is a never-ending journey of never like it's um kaizen in japanese means never um constant improvement so constant growth and that and that is it and that is all life is like it's a growth journey you're here your soul's here your soul wants to grow your soul wants the challenges your soul wants a bit of messiness um but your soul also wants the magic so as we're kind of looking at our life as a whole and we're moving towards the magic in the tens what can like where can you invite more magic in you can go and download the worksheet totally free in my um in the link in the description in the show notes um and have a look go and have a look at your life go and see what's um what needs improving maybe it's your health or your wellness like i've had a week with family <laughs> oh, and you know i sort of revert back to some of my old patterns when I'm with family so I don't eat as well um, I don't look after my body and my mind as well um, I have quite a um, sacred routine when it comes to caring for myself like my morning the first couple of hours of my day are so special to me um, and I sort of fall out of that a bit when I'm around family and I really miss that connection to myself so um, I noticed that this was out of alignment and so this is what I've been working on since I've been back in my own space I have been um, I have been making sure that you know I've given myself the compassion that my life is I don't need to be perfect I don't need to have perfectly toned abs um, and actually having is having perfectly toned up toned abs healthy who knows but feeling healthier in my body how can i invite in more health how can i invite more magic into my wellness and that has been coming back to um my meditation my sitting in silence my um eating more more of a vegan diet um and just and enjoying the sunshine and the and the magic that is around me rather than being focused on the kind of family dynamics so um it's all a balance and different areas will be knocked at different times like you know maybe have a look at your finances where can you invite in more magic in your finances maybe you need to change career maybe you need to start that um passion like start kind of monetizing your passion that you've been working towards for so long um maybe like there are you know even just working towards your dreams you don't know where that can take you again my friend who's the singer songwriter she is working towards her dreams and the the possibilities that are available with that are endless and that will affect so many different areas of her life um 
and even things like fun and joy. These are the generally, like, I don't think on the wheel of life, on the traditional wheel of life, that there is a space for fun and joy. And that is so sad because we are, our souls want to have fun. Our souls are here for fun as well as everything else. Fun is magic. So where can you bring in more fun and joy? And what do your relationships look like? Um, something that was really um, evident to me uh, as a kind of sign that was coming up for me in the last few weeks was your relationships like who are you spending the most time with and how are they impacting you what are they doing or like are your are your relationships helping you grow are they supporting you or are they um holding you back and bringing you down so really take a look into your relationships and um and just kind of assess and it doesn't mean if you decide that you your some of your relationships in your life aren't serving your highest growth and they're not aiding you in living a magical life it doesn't mean you have to take somebody out of your life it doesn't mean you have to stop talking to them i would suggest a reframe and say okay i can see this person with love and compassion for where they are on their journey i see myself with love and compassion for where i am on my journey they're not aligned at the moment so i'm just going to take a step back and regroup and maybe put myself in a room with people that I want to be around um, and it could mean that you have to get out of your comfort zone and go and do some networking it could be that you have to reach out to somebody and say hey do you want to have coffee um, and you just don't know where these relation like new relationships can take you but again opportunities throw flow through people um, so as you're walking to walking working towards your dreams and your desires like you don't know building new relationships with people can bring you um can bring you more opportunity and that could help you get to that um get to that goal there there is just there is just so much magic when you open yourself up to self-discovery and connection so so much magic and i actually sent this out in an email to my newsletter yesterday um to my in a newsletter to my email list yesterday um like there is so much magic available when we do connect to ourselves when we connect to ourselves in silence and in meditation when we connect to ourselves by asking journal journaling on self-discovery prompts like even through tarot and um and oracle cards we can learn so much about ourselves anything that helps you ask deeper questions and understand yourself and your and how you want to live your life in a deeper way will open you up to so much magic um and you know it's about <laughs> a few months ago in fact i think it was my first podcast of this year i i spoke about i think it was called like if it's not a fuck yes it's a fuck no or how to live a 10 out of 10 life and it is the same principle of rating the areas of your life out of 10 and um changing what isn't a 10 bringing in something new or getting rid of something stagnant and old and um i just started dating my now boyfriend and um he i think it terrified him because he um listened to it and was like wow this woman's savage um in kind of uh, the standards of her life but you know i know we're not here for a long time and this human journey is so unique and can be so magical so why would why would we settle for anything less like maybe ask yourself why are you settling for anything less than magic um and you know there are some like it's also being compassionate because it isn't going to be magical all the time and we need these times to grow and to learn but um like let's all aim for a magical life that magical life will raise your energy it will raise your frequency it will raise your vibration to bring in more magic but also what that does is it has a huge impact on those people around you it has a huge impact on the world if we're all just slowly working on ourselves and connecting to ourselves and our soul on a deeper level that creates profound change in the world not just within ourselves but within our neighborhood within our family within our friendship circles within our um romantic relationships it affects everybody around us um even if you know we're just a little bit happier then it might make somebody else a little bit happier it can be as simple as that um but yes 
So question, are you here for magic or are you here for mediocre? And if you're here for magic, what are you doing about it? Um, to have go and do some soul searching. I've seen lots of my clients soul searching this week, lots of people in my life soul searching this week, including myself, um, kind of shifting some things around in my life so that I can invite in more magic. Um, and you know, it's like I say, it's a never ending journey. So um, go and download the Aspects of Life Mandala worksheet, have a play around. It also includes like listening, maybe meditate for 10 minutes before, listen to your intuition, do some journaling around each aspect of your life. You will be amazed at what comes up, insights, um, insights into how you can make those changes, into what changes that you need to make. It could be blindingly obvious that you already know but you you don't want to admit to yourself because it means big change and that is scary to the ego but that fear is an illusion the only truth of the matter is that your soul wants to grow and growth comes from expansion and from love um and then um if you also so i have um a beautiful offering called the um, higher self meditation and visualization and what it is is you book an hour with me a one hour session and we sit and it's pr a one hour private session we have a sort of 30 minute coaching um where around like a specific area of your life and then i guide you in a meditation where we channel your higher self and we channel the wisdom and the in and, and the um knowledge that needs to come through and that you need to hear and this is a very very powerful profound meditation and then we, at, the, at the same time I record it so that you can listen to it every day if you desire you get that you get that recording um, so there's a link for that if you'd like to book one of those um, and yeah like let's be here for magic let's fuck mediocre and bring in more magic I hope that you have a wonderful week ahead and watch out next for next week's episode. Thank you so much for listening to this week's episode of The Mandala Effect. If you enjoyed this, please like, subscribe, comment, let me know what your biggest takeaway was. I would really love to know what you're doing to create a magical life. Lots of love. <laughs>